I wanted to know how deep is the out of all map? We know the map is completely and utterly diggable, so it could be massive, and I need some money. So I decided to take a small amount of loans out just so they've got a little bit of money that we can spend on what we might need. I felt $1,308,700,000 might just be enough for us to do what we needed to do. I also wanted to buy one of these bad boys because I'm going to need a rock truck. It's going to make things easier. I decided to limit myself to 100 nukes. I think 100 nukes will give me enough of an idea of how deep this map could be. And hopefully, in theory, we shouldn't really be going much further than 100 nukes deep. Besides, I have to drag these one at a time, so 100 should be enough, I think. Next up, we have planting the nuke. What I'm going to do is going to plant it nice and close to the base. Reason being, we've got the marker there that's on the computer that's going to give me a rough idea about the depth. Now we want to set off the nuke, but as you'll see, nope. you can't be too close to the nuke when you try and set it off. That is what the rock truck is for. Because what we can do is we can run over to the rock truck, hop in, and we can drive this bad boy as far away as we need to be in order to set the nuke up. Let's go. About 200 meters away from the nuke. Let's click this down and have a look. And nope. it's still a no. We've got to keep going, so further we shall go. Closing up on just over 400 meters away now. We'll try this, and hopefully this will be enough. Give it a good old click, and as you can see, we do have the ability to set the nukes off. It is really, really bright as well, let's be honest here. <laughs> but this is where the rock truck comes in handy. Because obviously, if you guys know this game, you'll realize that you can bring up this menu, and you can click Return to Base. So that will mean that I can shoot back to base, Go to the hole, check out how deep it is. This is after one noob. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I can pick up a nuke. I can put it in the hole. And now we can do this clever little trick here where I can go and select the rock truck from the menu. Click on drive. And it will shoot me back to the rock truck. And then I can just get out and press the plunger. So this is what I'm going to be doing for a hundred nukes. This process of clicking return to base, plant the nuke, drive the rock truck, go back. And just like that, through the power of editing, we are at nuke number 10. We're gonna push this. We're gonna see if we can see the mushroom cloud it still comes up. And we can, so we're not that deep yet. But truth be told, it is a little bit smaller than it was when we first started. So that's a good sign, that's after 10 nukes. Zoom back to the camp, let's have a look. Ooh. Hey. So this is after 10 nukes. You see that we've had to go through bedrock, so we are going somewhere. But after 10 nukes, we are about 100 meters. It's not too bad. I will continue, and I will check back with you guys in a bit. You have joined me here as we are planting our 20th nuke, as we zoom back to the rock truck yet again to get out to push, push that, that plunger. plunger. seems to take a little bit longer before we see the mushroom cloud. It is still there, but after 20 nuclear missiles and a whole lot of clicking backwards and forwards, I'm so thankful at some point we are going to get a tab that lets us switch between places. Zoom back to the camp. Have a look at this massive hole that we've got now. After 20 nuclear blasts, it's already, it's already white right at the, the bottom. bottom. It's, it's already, already dusty and cloudy down, down here. And we are approximately 219 meters out. I shall be back. After a long and exhausting process, we are finally on to Nuke 30. So we're just going to check the depth of once again to see if we can see that mushroom cloud. We are still seeing that mushroom cloud. It is still there, so we're still not quite deep enough yet, even after 30 nukes. But how deep is the hole? That's the important thing. So, after 30 nukes, we are about 332 meters deep now, so we're getting somewhere at least. So this would be about the part in the video where I tell you how far we got after 40 nukes, and then how far we got after 50 nukes. By the way, after 50 nukes, we're about 560 meters out, which is telling me we're averaging just over 110 meters every nuke, give or take. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that, because it was just a long, tedious process of me putting the nuke down, getting in the truck, detonate the nuke, going back to the base, putting a nuke down, getting in the truck. You get the idea. So I'm going to save you all of that, and I'm going to tell you that by the time we got to 60 nukes, we were no longer seeing the mushroom cloud. 60 nukes, the ground was so deep, the cloud stopped coming out completely.
So that leaves us here about Nuke 80. And if we get to Nuke 80, what I'm doing is I'm actually detonating the nuke and throwing myself down the hole. Because by the time I'm actually getting close towards the bottom, the mushroom cloud colour isn't even there anymore. I mean, we do pass it, but it's really quick and it doesn't last very long at all. So this is a blinking deep hole. So here is what you've all been waiting for. This is the final nuke that we have to place. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit cloudy down here. It's a little bit tricky to find where we are, but the bottom is very obvious because it's the smallest, kind of flattest part that we've got. So we stick the nuke down, we'll jump up, we'll launch this off. This is nuke 100, and we'll see how deep this hole is. So that was the last nuke, but just how deep is it? Start the stopwatch and let's go. So there you have it folks, it took me over 18 seconds to fall this far, according to the internet that is a speed of 394 miles per hour, nearly 395 miles an hour, and the deepest part of this hole is 1130 meters deep. But how does that look on land? I'll show you, I am currently stood on the front of the truck 1130 meters away from the base, I'm going to grab the camera and we are going to zoom the camera up here to see how far away we are. So here we are at the base. Let me know when you see our little yellow truck in the distance. I dare you. Let me know in the comments. Come on. When do you think you see it? It's a lot further than you think. Going down is one thing. Going across land completely brings a scale to this thing. Do you see it yet? What about now? It's quite a long way, isn't it, really? When you look at it, this is how far 100 nukes have taken us. And in case you can't see it, I'm just going to pinpoint a little highlight for us as we get a little bit closer, you'll see it a lot easier. And there we go. So that is how far we have gone downwards. Just a bit of perspective, it's kind of mad. And just to give you a real sense of scale, I'm going to pull the camera back and wait till we can see the truck and the base both in sight. And this will be the real thing that kind of makes you go, wow. It's kind of big, and you don't really expect it to be that big. We know that this map is literally kilometers wide, miles wide, whatever you want to say. We just don't get a sense of depth when it comes to this game. Yeah, we could just keep digging away and hoping for the best, but how deep do we actually get? Well, it looks like it doesn't matter. I don't think you're ever going to get to the bottom of the map if there is one. I do think that there is enough dirt here that we can dig out before it becomes an issue that we're gonna run out of room. I will say that in real time, this took me over an hour to do, to do 100 nukes. If anybody wants to go further, knock yourselves out, have a go, have at it, show me your results. But thank you very much for watching guys. See you again next time, take it easy, bye.